What's going on, YouTube? Once again, it's your boy Zach Hankins, and welcome to the Afterthought. You know what I'm saying? Shout out to all my subscribers, the ones with the like button. I'm going to continue to do more videos. But this goes out to the WWE audience, for the wrestling fans out there like I am. Quite frankly, I had the chance to watch the Royal Rumble over the past couple of days. You know, I've been busy this the past weekend, the past week, so I haven't been able to do much videos because of my schedule. And I have a lot on my plate right now, but. I had the chance to watch the Warrior Rumble and had the chance to see all the action, but this video is just goes out to the Undertaker right now. You know, shouts out to the Undertaker, Mark, you know what I'm saying, Galloway, or Mark Jacobs, or whatever his last name is. I know I think his brother's last name is Jacobs, half brother Kane, but shouts out to him. But anyway, this video is goes towards the Undertaker, saying that it's time that WWE retires the Undertaker. This needs to be it for him. He's done. He's finished. I don't know why in the world did they have the Undertaker amongst 29 of those other wrestlers because he don't blend in at all. Like this new roster that WWE has with Raw versus Smack, Raw and SmackDown specifically, you got a lot of people, a lot of wrestlers my age, okay? This is a lot of third generation wrestlers, all right? And Randy Orton right now, even though he's a veteran, he's basically the leader of this new generation. Like basically second and third gen, uh, generation wrestlers like Randy Orton, he pretty much represents like... I got, um, like you got Charlotte Flair, like Ric Flair's daughter. Okay, you got um, you got other wrestlers like not even to mean it, like um Roman Reigns, his brother Rosie wrestled. Okay, like you got those type of wrestlers. This is basically their time. Like Undertaker does not fit in with none of these new set of wrestlers now. Like him, them having him in the Royal Rumble was ridiculous. They could have put somebody else in that slot. You had Samoa Joe, you could have used. You got Robert Roode, even though Robert Roode's the NXT champion. Still, he would have made a better uh, matchup than The Undertaker. You got so many other wrestlers right now that the WD could be enhancing right now and could be given a more of a, uh, more TV time. To me, The Undertaker did everything he wanted to do in WD. Let's just keep it real right now. The man is 53 years old. The Undertaker represents a generation that I basically grew up watching as a child. He started around 1990 or even later than that, like late 80s, early 90s. But I remember he stepped into the WWE around 1990, the year I was born. Now, The Undertaker gave me a good childhood. I ain't lying. I was a kid growing up watching him in his ministry of darkness, which is to me one of the most memorable stables that WWE has had because the year of 1999 was The Undertaker's. The man won every belt title he was going to win in his weight class. He won both the WWE and the uh, World Heavyweight Championship. He won the tag team championships with his uh, brother uh, Kane. They formed the the Brothers of Destruction back in the 01, 2002 like season. Like the man had, was phenomenal. Right, he went undefeated at WrestleMania for like 22 years. And by the way, if I was an Undertaker, I would have retired after I beat CM Punk back uh, in 2013. After that year's WrestleMania, I would have retired after that. I would have called a quits because first of all, being undefeated for 22 years in WrestleMania, that's a record nobody else is gonna break. So the Undertaker, I mean, he like to me, he's done. Like his contract ended already. After Brock Lesnar beat him in WrestleMania in 2014, like four years ago, that should have been it for the Undertaker. There's no point in even bringing him back in right now, year after year. Like you gotta know when to let it go. Now maybe the Undertaker himself wants to keep wrestling, but it's just it's pointless right now because who else he's gonna fight right now? For one, it's pointless for him to even be paired up with Roman Reigns. All right, Roman Reigns is a younger man. He's twice as young as him. Roman Reigns has is better off going against a Samoa Joe. He's better off facing somebody like um going like he's better off facing like let's say Elimination Chamber right now. Okay, he's better off facing a uh, Kevin Owens right now for the title and getting the rematch than facing the Undertaker. Now you need to book Roman Reigns better than that. To keep putting Undertaker in these matches at WrestleMania makes no sense because most of the wrestlers that's in the ring now are not even half the wrestler the Undertaker was anyway. You can't put Roman Reigns in the same ring as the Undertaker when Roman Reigns comes from a different generation. All right, Roman Reigns has not nearly had as much success as the Undertaker. Not taking nothing away from Roman Reigns because he was a WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Yeah, he formed the Shield, and the Shield is to me one of the best factions I've seen thus far in the past twenty some years. The WWE has been around since I've been watching it. Okay, nobody can do what him and Seth, you know, him and uh, Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose did. Okay, Roman Reigns has that title under him. The Shield was literally almost unbeatable, but still, the Undertaker did way more in his career right now. And let's just keep it real too. A lot of wrestlers that was around when, since Undertaker been around, like Shawn Michaels, The Rock. Uh, yeah, Shawn Michaels, The Rock, Mick Foley. Um, 
who else? Booker T. A lot of these wrestlers retired already, all right? D Generation X, they all retired. A lot of wrestlers I was around when Undertaker was in the WWE since the Attitude Era, and before that, all gone. Like, they, Bret Hart, Randy Savage, God rest his soul, like, the Ultimate Warrior, all these wrestlers are pretty much retired. They're gone now. Like, it's over. Like, Undertaker just don't blend in at all. Even then, other veterans like him got to leave. Now, I know Chris Jericho has announced that he's going to be leaving. Chris Jericho might be retiring, too, because he basically has nothing else to prove in his career right now. All Chris Jericho is there for is basically to help Kevin Owens right now in his championship run. He's basically going to be giving up that United States championship. Chris Jericho ain't going to be having that for too much longer. I think I think um, when come, let's see, the next pay-per-view before WrestleMania will probably be the Elimination Chamber. Chris Jericho is losing that belt title. He's going to probably lose it to somebody like maybe Sami Zayn. Or a younger wrestler like uh, that's in Zayn's uh, class that's pretty much up and coming. They're going to lose the belt out of him. And then after WrestleMania, he's going to be gone. Like He's going, he's not going to renew his contract. Jericho's going to be finished. And he's going to be going into his heavy metal music because he's a part of a band called Fozzy. That's Chris Jericho. And that's what he's passionate about right now. But even Kane. Kane should have retired after authority ended because Kane is actually a congressman. He's a political figure in his hometown. And that's what he's actually can go into outside of WWE. Rhino ain't going to be around for too much longer either. He's another political figure who's going to be running for office. Then on top of that, you got our truth that's him going right now. He has no business there. And Mark Henry. Now, it was so fun to see Mark Henry in the Royal Rumble and him eliminating that wrestler with the umbrella, but it's time for him to go. Mark Henry don't fit in at all, man. He's way past his prime already. And who else you got? Goldust should be going by now. After him and Stardust lost the tag team championships, it should have been it for him too. Like a lot of those veterans, man, the WWE got too much talent. You even got XTNA talent like Eric Young. And even the Hardy Boys are rumored they're going to be coming back into the WWE. You got all, all these other wrestlers that you could be using right now. You got Braun Strowman, who's a juggernaut like wrestler, who's a true beast. You know, even, uh, and even like Finn Balor, okay? Finn Balor never, technically never lost his title, all right? He beat Seth Rollins for that championship. And yeah, he had a dislocated shoulder. And he's going to be out for all these months, but still. Finn Balor, you can main, you can headline, okay? He's proven that he can headline for a championship title. You got him you could be using right now. There's plenty of a, there's plenty of other wrestlers that Roman Reigns can use and fight against. You don't have to be the Undertaker. No, that's like putting him against Bray Wyatt. That made no sense too because Bray Wyatt is not even the same class as the Undertaker. And the problem with Bray Wyatt, they don't even give him an opportunity at all. Bray Wyatt should have been had a championship title on his belt right now. Which I would have, if it was up to me, I would have gave Bray Wyatt a storyline where he has either the WWE title or that Universal title under his belt with the Wyatt family. Okay? When, he, when the Wyatt family is big, they did not give him a title shot, which is terrible. Alright? You got Luke Harper that they can use right now. Alright? And the fact that, that Randy Orton won the Royal Rumble, that's good for his career because he still got it. And John Cena, that's really the only type of veterans you actually need. Dolph Ziggler going to still be around, okay? They got enough veterans now. These older guys who are in their late 40s, 50 years old, they need to retire. So Undertaker, I thank you for a good career, but your time is basically up, man. We've seen enough of you. You're going to go into the Hall of Fame, your first ballot Hall of Famer. You got accolades that's going to be remembered, and it's going to automatically, you know what I'm saying? Like, let's say if Undertaker retires now, he's going to be into the Hall of Fame in 2018 for sure, okay? So that's just my, my thoughts on it, but to me, the put Undertaker, the only person I see Undertaker facing at WrestleMania is Kurt Angle. Or right, Kurt Angle is supposed to be making a return, and he'll get one last match, but that's the only one I see uh, basically Undertaker facing, because even after he fought Shane McMahon last year, the man was limping. Okay, if Shaman Man would have landed that um would have landed that hit off the top of that that cage and landed on Undertaker successfully in a match, that cage match, the Undertaker would have been finished. I think it wasn't even, it wasn't even a cage match, it was a hell in a cell, but still an Undertaker would have been done as Shane landed on him. He would have been hospitalized like when Brock Lesnar beat him. Okay, Undertaker, it's time to let it go. I thank you for giving me a great childhood, but as a WWE fan who's been faithful and watching it. I think it's time for you to retire, man. You're, you're finished, okay? Nothing against you, but WWE, the WWE has plenty of young talent that they can develop right now. They don't need you in there no more. This is the After Thought. I'm Zach Hankins. If you like, go ahead, hit the subscribe. I'll put more videos. I know the Roy, I know the, um, after the Royal Rumble is ended, now we have Super Bowl 51, so I'll be covering that this weekend. By the way, it's my birthday coming up. I'll be turning 27 on February, which is tomorrow. So I thank God for giving me another year to see 27. So I'll be turning up this weekend. Y'all take care. Be blessed. I'll see you soon.